Welcome to the Perfect Apps Designer. I want to show you the basics of laying out your apps during this short video. There are five sections on the app design screen. The navigation panel is where you can manage your app pages and objects. You can create new pages or use the navigation tree to locate the objects you want to edit. The designer view lets you switch between different views, layout, mobile, behavior and workflow. You build your apps in the central canvas. The Properties panel lets you customize your app elements in various ways. You can adjust their attributes, settings and styling to suit your needs. You can also access the behaviors for each element, which are the actions they can perform. The toolbox contains all the objects you can use in your apps. They are organized in tabs for easy access. There's a customizable toolbox for your most used objects and a search option. The toolbox has visual objects like text, headings, buttons, input objects such as text, numeric and date inputs, checkboxes and lists. There are more advanced visual and input objects also available. Select input objects from the toolbox and drag them onto the canvas. An associated text label is automatically included with most input objects. The text label is selected, so enter the text to display here. Note that the text entered will also be used as part of the name for the text input field. There are plenty of formatting options available using the mouse right click menu. The same options are available in the format menu above the properties panel. The grid and snap to grid features from the view menu can make the alignment of objects easy to manage. You will want to add some intelligent behavior to your app. Typically this could be calculations, checking mandatory fields, page or question skipping. But you can do many other things to make your apps work smarter. The online help guide covers this process in more detail, but for now let me show you the basics of managing these behaviors. Each object on your app has events in the properties panel that trigger intelligent behavior. Clicking an event opens up the behavior canvas for that object. Build behaviors by dragging commands from the toolbox onto the canvas. There is also a canvas to build your workflow rules. You can reach that area by pressing the workflow mode icon in the designer view. Workflow objects are also dragged onto the drawing area with conditions and behavior attached. This technique and many others are covered in other training tutorials. Lots of information is available so use the resources in the online help guide.